everyone. I am very delighted to be in front of you once again. In the previous session, we discussed about exchange of respiratory gases in the alveoli. Do you know the component of blood which carries oxygen? Hemoglobin in the red blood cells carries oxygen. Now, let us see the peculiarities of red blood cells. The red blood cells are disc shaped cells or biconcave cells. It looks like an Alphen Libby chocolate. The number varies from 45 lakhs to 60 lakhs. They don't have nucleus or any other cell organelles. They contain a pigment known as hemoglobin which has more affinity to oxygen. I repeat once again, the RBC, they are disc shaped cells and the number varies from 45 to 60 lakhs. They don't have nucleus or any other cell organelles. They have a pigment known as hemoglobin which has more affinity to oxygen. Now let us see the structure of hemoglobin. The structure of a hemoglobin consists of four protein strands with iron containing heme. Oxygen molecule combines with iron in the heme. Each hemoglobin molecule can carry four oxygen molecules since hemoglobin have four protein strands and a heme. I'll repeat once again. Hemoglobin is an oxygen transport protein. It has four protein strands as subunits. Each subunit contains a heme prosthetic group. The heme molecules gives red color to the blood. Each heme molecule contains one iron atom. Oxygen binds with this iron atom. So, each hemoglobin carries four oxygen molecules. I hope it is clear for you. Now we will see how far the structure of hemoglobin is efficient for transportation of respiratory gases. In the previous session, we have already discussed about exchange of respiratory gases between alveoli and blood capillaries. So, by simple diffusion, oxygen enters into the blood capillaries. In the blood capillaries, hemoglobin is present. Hemoglobin combines with oxygen to form a compound known as oxyhemoglobin. Hemoglobin combines with oxygen to form oxyhemoglobin. It is an unstable compound. It is carried through the blood vessel and reaches near the cells. Then oxyhemoglobin dissociates into hemoglobin and oxygen. Oxyhemoglobin dissociates into hemoglobin and oxygen. Now the oxygen is free. Oxygen in the blood capillaries by simple diffusion enters into the tissue fluid. And from the tissue fluid, oxygen enters into the cells. I'll repeat once again. Hemoglobin combines with oxygen to form oxyhemoglobin and it is carried through the blood vessels. When it reaches near the cell, oxyhemoglobin dissociates into hemoglobin and oxygen. So, oxygen is free. By simple diffusion, oxygen enters into the tissue fluid. And from the tissue fluid, oxygen enters into the cells. I hope it is clear for you. Hemoglobin has more affinity to carbon monoxide 
than oxygen. When you are trapped in a place which contain lot of smoke or in a polluted area, there will be more amount of carbon monoxide. So when we inhale, there will be more amount of carbon monoxide than oxygen. So what will happen? Hemoglobin combines with carbon monoxide to form a compound known as carboxyhemoglobin. Hemoglobin combines with carbon monoxide to form a compound known as carboxyhemoglobin. It is a very stable compound. So does not get dissociated into hemoglobin and carbon monoxide. So the hemoglobin loses its capacity to carry the respiratory gases and they get completely destroyed. I hope it is clear for you. The main constituent for synthesis of hemoglobin is iron molecules. All the leafy vegetables are rich in iron molecules. So it is said that we should include leafy vegetables in our diet. Include leafy vegetables in our diet. Average amount of hemoglobin in a healthy man it is 15 gram per 100 ml. But in case of woman, it is 13 gram per 100 ml. If the amount of hemoglobin decreases, it leads to a deficiency disease called as anemia. Have you heard about a project known as WIFS? The full form of WIFS is weekly iron and folic acid supplementation. Weekly iron and folic acid supplementation. In this project, they distribute the iron tablets in schools in order to maintain the hemoglobin content in children. 